What's up, everybody? It's yours truly, Mr. Steven, aka the legend, and my pronouns are he, him, and his, and welcome to the Steven Factor. Folks, Halloween is just around the corner. Hey, Jimmy, where you going, man? <laughs> I'd like to meet my friend, Jimmy. Um, What's up, guys? So, we just came out of the new movie called Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, and yes, I'm truly apologize. I'll handle no stuff to stick with me because my arm will be tired very soon. <laughs> but Jimmy, I really don't know how to say this. The sequel is way much better than the first for the first time ever in I agree. 36 years. Tell me your thoughts about it, my friend. You know, it's what is it? 36 years later, but you know, every part of it is more entertaining. Visuals are overall better. You know, not to knock the original because the original is a classic. But I, I loved how they brought on the uh, original characters, uh -huh. Michael Keaton, Catherine O'Hara, Wyona Ryder. They were all fantastic. I loved the movie. And don't forget J Jane Ortega. Because Jane Ortega. She, she's pretty good anyway. But as you really know about this, all the DC's family like are paranormal people because they're talking to ghosts. And Beetlejuice is one of my favorite characters in my opinion, right? So, um, you know, Beetlejuice is the anti-hero. He wants to, to break free, he wants to, to be alive, and he doesn't don't want to be dead anymore. Just want to let you know he's over 630-something-year-old guy <laughs> who wants to make some craziest schemes ever. So, here, here's how the story goes. You know Lydia Dees, she is a talk show host, and she has a, a wonderful, let's do a little switch places. Um, the fix, um, she's falling over some really fiance, right? And it's been revealed that her birth dad just died in a plane crash and he hit by a shark. Now, just want to let you know, the actor who played uh, Charlie Deese is Jeffrey Jones and due to the incidents that we have we don't want to talk about that but we already know about that and this is the spoiler review by the way yes sir yes sir and um and he died he recently died on a on a shark cat, um plane crash and uh, and the shark just beat him up into business so um the funeral is all set they want to get married on Halloween night Adrian doesn't believe in ghosts. He runs away um, with this cute boy, and it's been revealed that he's a ghost as well, trying to murder all his parents. So let's fast forward into the Halloween night. Lydia just find out that her daughter is in trouble. Mm -hmm. And now Lydia wants to help her anti-hero friend, Beetlejuice, decide trying to rescue her. Yep. And she saw her dad too. Mm -hmm. um, Adrian saw her birth dad. So, um, you know how Beatrice is trying somebody's help, trying to do a feat, trying to do something a big favor. But remember, he wants to get Mary Lydia again. They do the same thing for the first movie. They recycle the, the opera, same thing for the first movie. Right. So you know they're trying to bring back so many nostalgic events, and they bring back her beautiful red dress, just like the first movie. But also they use. The, the red dress on the cartoon version of Beetlejuice the animated series. Oh, that's crazy. But listen, Jimmy, I recommend you to watch uh, Beetlejuice the animated series and tell me how, how you feel about it. But what's your favorite part of this movie? Oh, man. I just love how Michael Keaton reprised the role. He knocked it out the park. Mm -hmm. I just love the whole vibe. It took took place on Halloween mm -hmm. and you know I love how it wasn't CGI mm -hmm. I think Tim Burton is one of those directors who even to this day mm -hmm. he's pretty committed on using real effects and clay animation clay animation you know makeup mm -hmm. and so I think sometimes CGI actually you know makes the movie worse mm -hmm. so I really like how this wasn't the case here and Tim Burton is actually spawn on and I and and hopefully that everything that, that he will probably do that again somewhere in the near future. 
Now, the wedding scene was hilarious, to be honest. Oh, uh, it was awesome. You bring back the Nick Arthur Park. Yeah. The original and Donna Summer, right? Yeah. Um, we have Beauty's ex-wife named Dolores, a, 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 a soul-sucking ghoul trying to revenge on Beauty's <laughs> as well, too. And, um, and and it was amazing. So you said you bring back some of Broadway the musical. Yeah. Oh, yeah, this is a fun fact. They did the uh, Beetlejuice the musical on Broadway. Oh, I never saw that one. I think it was too late for yeah. us. <laughs> it was too late for us. So piss off for us. <laughs> so uh, but I'd say 10 out of 10. A plus. Go see the movie. Hey, I didn't even finish my grade. That's great. Oh, oh no, wait, now, now, let me finish the. the, the let me oh, finish. my bad. No, no, no. You, I jumped in there. Yeah, yeah, you jump in, but that's good. Ten out of ten, A plus. Yeah. That's your grade. Yeah. That's Jamie's grade, folks. But I didn't get my grade yet. This is a truly amazing how Tim Burton is resurrected from the dead. Yeah. Trying to bring back that everyone has been dying for this for three decades. Um, at the end, when Lydia knew that it is all over between him and between her and the Jews, their anti-friendship is over. Say three times, Beetle Jews, Beetle Jews, Beetle Jews. I love that, let's switch again, my arm is tired. I love how they did when Lydia decided to break her new memory and spend time with Darth Maul off. Right. Because she knew that since day one, she knew that Beauty was trying to resurrect from the dead and trying to live wild and free. But as you may know, she's done with meds. Um, she spends time with her daughter more often. She falls in love with this cute young man, a little Gen Zer. But during at the end, she gave birth with Beetlejuice Jr. And Lydia <laughs> came up with a dream, and she knew that what if if Beetlejuice will might come back again? What if that if he will hunt them again yep. for a third movie? We don't know yet, so let's hope and see to see all the dying fans want to see the third movie. So just remember, it depends between Tim Burton and the Warner Brothers. Right. And I really like they bring back the Griffin Company because it's been there for three decades and they resurrected and restored the old logo that we grew up at. So that is wonderful. And as you mentioned in the credits, they also brought back Danny Elfman to do the music for the movie. Yes, right. Which, That's like right. the original was fantastic. Yes, they also, they bring back Danny DeVito yep. during the Tim Burton years. Remember, Danny DeVito played as the painter. Right. On Batman Returns back in 1992. And Michael Keaton was Batman also. That's crazy. So they have a wonderful relationship. But also, there's another connection with Tim Burton. They also, they, they were the same actors on the remake version of Dumbo, the Walt Disney movie. Oh. And it was way too scary for the little kids. For sure. I don't know why Disney always wanted to do that. <laughs> so, um... But anyways, there's a lot of Tim Burton verse going on around here. But for now on, it was great. Now, Yuri, you say 10 out of 10 slash A plus. I am going to, you know what? Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, I'll give you A triple plus for oh, me. Yeah. A triple plus for me because I love Beetlejuice. Beetlejuice was my shit. And guess what? I just wish them all the best. And Michael Keaton is still spawn on. He's still in his prime, even to this day. The juice is loose. <laughs> but, I, but he said that like twice, both the train and the movie version. But he wanted to tone it down in the movie version. Like, the juice is loose. But the trailer version, he said, the juice is loose. <laughs> but yeah, he wanted to tone it down slowly. Yeah. All right, folks. I got to go. I mean, we got to go. Peace, homies. If you learn more about this movie, I mean, if you learn about this video, click on the subscribe button. Click the notification bell to see my latest videos. Hit that subscribe button. And also the like button as well. This is your stream. This is Steven and Jimmy saying, Dolo para la familia. And thank you for watching the Steven Factor. And go see Beetlejuice. Yes, quit before it's gone. One love, peace. Thank you.